Today's lesson is all about adjusting project settings in Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro has automatic settings, but sometimes you want to change them. Let's find out how. First, create a new project by pressing Command N on your keyboard. A window will appear in the middle of your screen. You can name your project, choose which event to store it in, and set the starting time. By default, Final Cut Pro sets up your project with automatic settings based on your first video clip. Let's check out how automatic settings work. Click on OK. Check it out. Final Cut Pro created a project with automatic settings. If we drag a clip in, our project settings will match the clip settings. You can see the clip details in the inspector on the top right, which you can open by clicking the icon with three sliders. Then select the info inspector by choosing the icon with the small letter I. The clip's resolution is 3840 by 2160, and its frame rate is 23.98. If we look at the project settings, they will be the same as the properties of the clip. Just select your project in the browser and go back to the Info Inspector to see it. Now, if your clip doesn't match any of the built-in Final Cut Pro presets, a window will appear at the top of your screen. This means that the project settings will be adjusted to be just like the clip. In this example, Final Cut Pro changed the format to 5K. Click OK if you're fine with the changes. If not, click the Format drop-down and select any preset or Custom if you want to change more settings. Then click OK. Let's see how to change project settings. In the browser, click the project you want to change. Make sure the inspector is open by clicking the icon with the three sliders on the top right. Select Modify in the Info Inspector. A window will appear in the middle of your screen. Here you can change settings as needed, but you know what I need? A thumbs up would be great. It helps me gauge how well I'm teaching and also helps others discover this video. Now let's explore project settings from scratch. Create a new project with Command N. Give your project a name, then choose which event to save it in. The starting time code determines where your project begins. You can usually leave it at zero. For certain frame rates, you'll see an option for drop frame. Leave it unchecked in most cases. Next, the video section allows you to adjust format, resolution, and frame rate. Choose the video format that suits your project, like 1080p for YouTube. Resolution is your frame size in pixels, typically in a 16 by 9 ratio. Frame rate controls how many frames appear in one second of footage. In the rendering section, you can select a codec for background rendering. You can also view the assigned color space for your project. To change the color space, go back to the Format drop-down and choose Custom. These are the typical color spaces available for selection. However, it's usually best to match the color space with the video format you've selected. Now let's look at the Audio section. You can choose between Surround Sound or Stereo. Sample rate affects audio quality and file size. Smaller rates create smaller files at a lower quality. On the flip side, using a bigger sample rate makes the sound better, but it also makes the files bigger. Once you've made your selections, click on the OK button to confirm. That's it. You've learned how to adjust your project settings in Final Cut Pro. If you want to share your projects with other people, click here to find out how.